In this video, there will be upside down mobs, fishing, and massive portals. Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Now today we'll be doing 10 things that you probably didn't know you could do in Minecraft. As you can see around me there's plenty of things to show so let's get started. Number 1. Mobs named Dinnerbone or Grum when placed will spawn upside down. Now the case sensitive D and G is required. Now this works for any mob, passive or non-passive. Number 2. Hostile mobs on soul sand will not burn. For example, a zombie on soul sand will not burn from the sun, nor will a skeleton. This only works for mobs that have the ability to burn in the sun. Number 3. Have you ever wanted to remove dye from armor that you've died in the past or before? Well, there's always a way in Minecraft, and in this case, say if I have these blue leather pants, and I just wanted them back to the brown leather, what you do is you get a cauldron and you fill it up with water, and you just right click, and it will dye them back to normal. And of course it uses up the water in your cauldron, and you can only do three leather bits. This works for any part of leather, so leggings, helmets, um, chest plates and everything. It all works, but you can only do three at a time before you have to fill up the cauldron again. Number four. There's a way higher chance to catch fish when it's raining. Number five. This is an awesome little trick which I used to use sometimes to just have fun. Now, I used to work better in the older versions of Minecraft, but it still works and it's quite fun to do. So all you need is a boat and some sand. So place the boat on the sand, touch the boat, and the boat will sink into the sand. Then hop into the boat and you will sink into the sand. Then you can move around inside the block until you get out of the block, and then you will no longer be in the glitch. Now if you press F5, your head will be sticking out of the sand, but due to the now Minecraft update, uh, your head is actually black, and you can't see your face or anything, but you used to be able to see your face, so if you do this in an older version of Minecraft, you'll be able to see your face. And it's a cool little thing just to do, and yeah, I highly recommend trying it out, because it's pretty cool. Number six. Have you ever wanted a hidden chest, but just hiding it behind a wall with a lever or something just wasn't working out for you? Well, see this perfectly wooden wall here? Say if I wanted to have a chest here. Well, here's a chest. So, how it works. So, in inside here, there's some skeletons, and a bat, and a zombie. Well. I'll just make them burn. Okie dokie. So, anyway, so what you do is, let's just uh, get the stuff we need. Okay, so all you need is some oak um, planks, like so, and just make a wall, like so. Doesn't matter how big it is, because, I mean, you're building it in your house, right? So, then just make sure you can have two uh, blocks in the middle or wherever you want them. So then, place one block so it's facing you place one of the stairs so it's facing you, then place it on a diagonal angle so it goes like that. Then as you'll see, when I put my cursor in there, there's no hitbox. So then you want to get your chest, and put your chest there. It doesn't matter which way it's facing, as long as it's on that the stair block which is facing that way. Now all you have to do is click in the place where there's no hitbox, and you'll click on the chest. Pretty easy. Number seven. This one's exactly the same as the other one, except it's a dispenser, and there's some pretty cool things you can do with it. Now back here I have a dispenser instead of a chest. Now I've done exactly the same thing, as you can see, except the dispenser will shoot things through this little bit. If you put it here it will not work because it will just shoot into the block, but if you put it through here, it'll shoot through the little bit where there's no hitbox. Now I've got arrows in the dispenser. And there's this really cool arrow thing. Now if I flick the switch here, the arrow will come to me. It won't just get dispensed onto the ground, it'll actually physically just come to me into my inventory. Now, say if I wanted to just put golden apples in the thing, it'll work as well. But if I remember correctly, golden apples will not come straight to you. They'll just plop out like a fridge. There you go. 
So this would be a great little thing, say if you wanted to um have food in and hidden in a wall and you need some quickly to get some food or you know, a PvP thing. So you just do this and then voila. Golden apples galore. Out of your wall. And nobody will suspect a thing. You just have to hide your redstone and that's it. Number eight. There's a little glitch. Most most of you will probably know, but I thought I'd just put it in here for the a few people who probably didn't know about it. Now this is a very simple glitch and it works with transparent blocks such as glowstone and redstone block. Now you just dig three down like so. So you just dig three across, then two down, then one down. Then all you need is a fence. And you put the fence on the second step. Then you drop in and kind of get trapped, but I mean you can always mine yourself out. And then you get the glowstone block, you jump up, and as you jump up in the air, you place it onto the fence. Not on top of the fence, but where you are. So you place it like so, and then you fall in, and then you can see through. Now say if there's cave systems, you can see my fish pond there, and you can see um, all the mobs and everything. But because I'm on a super flat world, there's no um, things to see, so of course it's going to be blank. But if you do this on your survival world, uh, it should show up with all sorts of cave systems and stuff. And this also works with the redstone block. It works with any transparent block. Number nine. Now, most, of pe most people will probably know this already, but you can make nether portals any size now due to the one point five update I think and pretty much what this allows you to do is make nether portals up to 23 blocks in size although you cannot make them smaller than the original size of the portal so they have to be bigger or the original size you cannot make them smaller but still hey I mean look how big they can be it's crazy now last of all but certainly not least is well how to get over a fence now, most of you guys will probably not know this, but some of you will. Now, m most people spend their time making gates to get through fences, when other people use carpet. Now, just place a block of carpet on top of the fence, jump up onto the fence, and you're over. Mobs cannot do this, only players can jump over the fence, which is very handy, especially if you just want to quickly jump over the fence and go into your enclosure to collect animals. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. Bye everybody.